you guys, it's Heather from Kelo Plan. Today I'm planning in my classic happy planner. This is my daydreamer happy planner that I use as a faith planner. And I've had lots of people request an update on this planner, how I've been using it, how it's been going. So this is going to be an updated version. And then I will also probably do a plan with me at the end for next week because I haven't decorated my spread yet for next week. So this is my daydreamer planner that I've been using this year as my faith planner. Um, it's been going pretty good. I kind of love it. So here in this first section, this is where I take my sermon notes each week at church. So I take the planner with me and I take notes from the sermon on this note paper. And I'm kind of starting to get nervous because I think I'm going to run out of paper before I run out of planner. So if anyone has any of this daydreamer paper, you let me know. So each week I'm just writing the sermon notes. Really cute way to do that and then this divider here just shows me where the next page will be when it's time to do that so then um, this is January this is my January monthly I've been writing a verse a day and I've just been using the Bible app on my phone to do that and so um, I just scroll down and I'll type in Bible and it's just titled Bible by you version and once you are here in the app you click over here on more then you click verse of the day and then it has a verse every single day for you to just write in. And so sometimes I have to shorten the verse because sometimes it's too long, um, but that's what I've been doing. And then I use the weekly spread since it's a horizontal layout, it's really good for journaling. So I do a Bible study. Um, I've tried to continuously do one. So as soon as one finishes, I start another one. And each week I just journal about the Bible study. And so then I can just flip back through my planner and I try to, I have a video on kind of what I pick to write, but I like that I can then flip back and just read short little pieces from the study that I was doing. And so I've been using this since January and I just thought it'd be fun to do a quick little flip through just to show you. Every single week I have been using, is there a crack? Nope, no crack. You're going crazy. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, every single week I've been using stickers from the Daydreamer sticker book so that it kind of goes with the pages. And that is getting a little redundant, but I try to get creative. So it's kind of cool to look back through it and see all the different spreads you can make with one sticker book. Although I am incorporating, like these are from the box sticker book. So I am incorporating other sticker books too. And then this past week... I use stickers from the Glam Girl sticker book because I was just kind of over Daydreamer. And my Bible study actually ended this week, but I forgot to go pick up a new one. So what I did this week was I went back through the study and just picked my favorite quotes and lettered them. And obviously I haven't done Sunday yet. Yesterday was Sunday and I just didn't get around to it. So today is Monday and it is time to decorate the last spread in my faith planner. And then I actually need to go to the store and pick out a new study so I like to keep it kind of simple because I don't want I want I want to be able to have space to journal because this is a journaling planner so this is my daydreamer sticker book we're gonna try and go back to the daydreamer sticker book I think um, I really love this sticker. It says, you will rise by lifting others. So I'm gonna stick this down here as kind of a jumping off point. And what I might do, I've never done this, so I might regret it, but I'm thinking about just putting several box stickers in this space. I never use this space. I guess I could as extra journaling, but I just haven't. So it fits four of the boxes like perfectly in that space. So that could be a fun little way to just jump in. Then I'm gonna place this here on Saturday. It's just a nice little page flag looking thing. And then I'm gonna take this one and put it over here on Wednesday.
can I really love this quote sticker. We're gonna put this up here. Live life in full bloom. And then this sticker here really matches the floral that is on the page. So we're gonna cut it in half. These scissors are really tiny. And I'm gonna put one here and one maybe here. Then I really love this sticker because it's got like, you know, four important notes. I really love using these. So I'm gonna place this sticker here. I love to just like summarize my reading into four points. So I love that sticker. And basically what I do is I'm just flipping through what stickers I have left. And some, some it's kind of hard sometimes to use this sticker book because I really want to be able to journal and a lot of these are like functional stickers they're not really journaling stickers so that makes it a little hard I really love this hexagon because it matches that right there so, so we're gonna put this like this have some little hexes over there. I think that's one reason that last week I was like, I'm not using this sticker book. Cause I, I just, I've used a lot, a lot of the stickers. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the mini Daydreamer because it's got the same kind of stickers, but they're a little bit smaller, which is sometimes nice when you're trying to get like journaling spots. Like it could be cute to pop this. Well, it's not going down straight. Okay, that sticker's not looking right. I don't, y'all, Matthew just came home and he apparently has no idea that I'm filming because he is making a lot of noise. <laughs> so I apologize. Okay, so I might actually kind of be done here, which I know may not seem like a lot, but again, I like to leave journaling space. So I wonder if actually, where are the fates? I could even grab the boxes. I always in the top corner like to put a little a little box here. And then I put this rose gold book and that's usually where I write what study I'm doing and what week just so I can easily look back and remember this might actually be all I do which I know doesn't seem like a lot but once I start adding in my journaling it'll be good Okay, so that is my faith planner, kind of an updated version, and then I will journal in here, and I'll try to remember to share the pen afterwards, but 
can't make any promises. <laughs> okay, so if you like this video, I hope you'll hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button, and happy planning.